They're off. Fair start. Breezes left toward the back with Little Red. Reloaded gets a good start. So to Party Princess. There goes the speedy Fortune 100 rushing down on the outside. The rider having a look as he makes his way toward the rail on the run to the half mile marker. Fortune 100 leading up. Prince Samo is a length down in second. Flying Bullet is hustled up into third and beginning to progress as they make their way to the 7th 16th. Supreme Star races on the outside of Party Princess. Five lengths covers that group. Powerful Red and Hail Mary a further four and a half lengths back. India Razi two lengths in behind them. Little Red makes ground. Reloaded toward the back of the field and last of all its reasons as they come thundering into the top of the lane with a quarter of a mile to run. Flying bullet on the outside, harassing the long-time leader, Fortune 100, in these two match strides. Fortune 100 finding extra and moving away once again from flying bullet. Now put to the stick as they drive past the furlong pole. It is Fortune 100 on the outside. Flying bullet has been switched over against the rail by Thomas, but Fortune 100 and Rian Lewis have a three-length lead. Can flying bullet cut into it with just about 25 meters? Can't. Fortune 100 wins by maybe three over Flying Bullet. Then powerful red party princess India Razi is fifth. Seven furlong the trip, and they're often racing master class steps a bit slow on the outside, and uh, that is uh, Precious P. Precious P with that lead right on his outside, and uh, between horses, that is uh, called the Emperor right there, too. That's Kubi very early, right there, also in uh, right there in fourth. That is a uh, Burning Red behind Burning Red Rum Puncher then comes Dante and recovering Devante and recovering as they pass the four master class they come towards the uh, three and uh, making the running it is Burning Red just the leader from uh, Scooby on the inside Burning Red ahead of Scooby there four lengths in front of Rum Puncher then comes uh, call the Emperor five lengths away to Devante then comes uh, Master class and racing at the back. Precious P there at the top of the lane. Two furlongs to the money. And Omar presses the button on the burning red. Burning red in front and traveling nicely in the middle of the track. And trying looks as though trying to bolt. That is uh, Scooby. Burning red in front. Here comes a uh, rum puncher. Burning red in front of rum puncher. Burning red still keeping on. Rum puncher trying to get to burning red. Scooby has blown the turn. It's a Burning Red and Burning Red beat Rum Puncher, Scooby, Ma, and uh, call the Emperor. They're off. XY Soul got off the slowest, along with Lord of Agilon, wifey says so. Triple Seven didn't get away that fast either, but now begins to recover. As up front, Step in Faith grabs that lead. Miss Hillington is racing near the rail as they make their way to the half mile. It's Step in Faith. There goes wifey says so, rushing up on the outside, and these two make eye contact. Triple Seven snapping at their heels. Miss Hillington is on the rail in the blue with the white sleeves. Lord of Agile on the grey, and these in a tight cluster as they run past the three. A gap of three to XY Soul, an expeditious best forgotten at the moment. They leave the 5.16th. They're about to come into the lane. It's a war up front. Miss Hillington hugging the rail, stepping just off it, bouncing into Lord of Agilon. These are the two main contenders. 
as they run past the 316th and Lord of Agilon now grabs the lead. Miss Hillington will attempt the fight back over against the rail. Three or four lengths back to XY Soul. Step in faith racing on the outside in the white cheek pieces, but it's the grey Lord of Agilon who continues to hold that lead inside the final 16th. Lord of Agilon battling Miss Hillington on the rail and XY Soul coming late, but too late. Lord of Agilon and Paul Francis take it by maybe three over XY Soul. Then Miss Hillington step in faith. Expeditious is fifth. Six both go to the testing barn. Lord of Agilon, 180 to win, 101 to place. Second seven, XY Soul, 124. Third. They're off and racing. Special counsel, the grey. That one is racing prominent. Also, there is a Formal Gladiator. Formal Gladiator has speed. Closest to us, that is a Chai Tu Prince. So Formal Gladiator Special Council and City Council. Also prominent. These are the top contenders. Chai Tu Prince may be the overall leader. Special Council right against the far side along with the Formal Gladiator. Here comes uh, and coming on Baltusrel in the middle. Chai Tu Prince. Looks something must have gone amiss with Chai Chai Two Prince. Here comes a uh, Colomy Tan. It is Special Counsel in front. Special Counsel traveling nicely. Special Counsel kicking away from these. And a Special Counsel will win the fourth. Special Counsel beating Bal Tusrul. City Council is third. Colomy Tan fourth. Just to note, Lord of Agilon was the winner of the third, the mayor, Crucial Cat. Special Counsel wins the fourth and the mayor, Crucial Cat. They're off. Fair start. Going through to get that lead, the powers that be as they arrive at the sixth. Diligent, the gray race is on the inside. Nez Pierce and Stormy Lady out two and three wide. Smarty Tradition is next, five and a half lengths off that lead. Attacked by Sweet Medicine, asked to make ground and pumped as they leave the five. Kaya Race is two and a half lengths further back. Struck by Grace is next with only one behind. That's Twilight Storm. The speed will pick up now as they arrive at the half mile and go running into the turn for home. The powers that be continues to lead them by almost two lengths, diligent trying to stay close. There's Pierce now being ridden along. Smarty Tradition beginning to make mild progress as they've slipped past the three, a gap back to on the outside, a stormy lady, sweet medicine rubbing the rail. Kaya is further back, a gap opens up to Twilight Storm and struck by Grace going nowhere as the leaders come into the lane. A quarter of a mile to run. They've got to catch the powers that be attempting to go all the way. The great diligent and the orange is over against the rail. In the center, that's Nez Pierce and Smart Tradition, the one widest of them all. The winner should come from one of these as they drive past the furlong pole. Diligent on the rail now, asked to pick up. Here is a Nez Pierce. Smart Tradition on the outside. It's Diligent. Nez Pierce now coming through and Nez Pierce grabs the lead from Diligent. Smart Tradition trying to close up, but it is a Nez Pierce driven flat to the boards. Andre Powell and Nez Pierce get there over Diligent. Close. Twilight Storm and Sweet Medicine come running on. Smarty Tradition is right there to win the photo. On 34 to place. Second three, Diligent, 72. Third one, Twilight Storm, 215. Fourth, nine.
They're off. Military shot. Came out at the back with mule train. Always a vigorous. Goes for that lead with Mardell and Sticky Don attached to their outside. These three almost abreast. And Sticky Don now speeds up and gets that lead. It's held over Mardell and always vigorous. Two lengths back to Lucky Plummer. A JB flyer, a length in behind Lucky Plummer as they head toward the half mile. Tiger Miller is asked to make some ground toward the outside to Cat Be the Glory now beginning to pick off horses, indicators on. Tiger Miller is two lengths further back, racing down against the rail. Silver Soul has made good progress as they arrive at the three. Six Avenue, they're stringing out. Magic Bullet races up next. Military Shot trying to make ground. Sparkling Tradition is on the outside of Mule Train. They share last as the leaders will now come thundering into the top of the lane. A quarter of a mile to run, and Sticky Don holds that lead. Sticky Don out in front. Always Vigorous is the one racing down against the rail as they come charging up the stretch toward the outside, now asked to make ground. That is to Cat be the glory, but they're inside the last furlong, and it is a Sticky Don and Anthony Thomas. Awesome Anthony, he's looking for his second, chasing all the while to Cat be the glory. Sticky Don driven to the max to hold a two and a quarter length lead and will last a double for Thomas. To Cat be the glory is ahead of Magic Bullet, then JB Flyer and Sparkling Tradition fifth. Third, seven magic bullet, one twenty six. Fourth, six, a JB flyer, fifth, twelve, sparkling tradition. Trifecta, one thousand five hundred. Ready for a start for Michael Sims. They're off and racing in the security department the trophy. And getting away in good order, that's action run. Race car is also prominent. Coming, tacking across in the middle, that is sweet, sweet and smart. She's my destiny, running quickly, closest to us. So it could be, she's my destiny. Race car is also prominent. There too is Goddy Girl. It's She's My Destiny. Goddy Girl, race car. These are the three that's prominent coming across and tacking across. That is as sweet and smart, but it's She's My Destiny. Goddy Girl traveling well in the middle. Race car is running, running a good big one. Also, She's My Destiny there. They're coming to the furlong pole. It's Goddy Girl in front. Goddy Girl keeping on from race car, trying to make a race of it. Goddy Girl and Goddy Girl. Wins from race car, Ras Emanuel, she's my destiny, and uh, sweet and smart. Closure for the presentation of the security department trophy. This trophy is kindly donated by Supreme Ventures Racing and Entertainment Limited. They're off and racing through Al Sky is the one that's left at the back, but marginally though, as Regnant passing the five on that lead. Regnant in front of uh, Will the Conqueror racing in second. Acero has speed and tacks on to that group as they pass the four. Then comes Magical Mood, three lengths away before we come to I've Got Magic. Then comes uh, T Brady, four lengths away before we come to True Al Sky and sudden flight racing at the back of the field. They come towards the two and a half for a long point, passing it, Regnant in front on that lead, Acero trying to put a challenge on the leader. It's Regnant in front, Acero trying to get to Regnant. Regnant still in front, Acero trying to come on. Also coming on that Will the Conqueror. Here comes I've Got Magic. Widest of all, it's Regnant in front, passing the furlong pole with that lead. Regnant in front and traveling. I've got magic, it's closing though. Regnant in front, I've got magic. 
Gunning down Regnant. I've got Magic Regnant. They've gone by together. Then comes T. Brady. A zero. It's four. Brady 79, fourth 9 a zero, fifth 8 will the conqueror. Trifecta 366, Quinella 195, exact. They're on for the Orville Thompson. Natalina steps off just a bit slow with Queen T toward the back, along with It Is What It Is. She's so fabulous as they leave, the six wants that lead. So to Bridal Blush, who sweeps through, and Bridal Blush now takes that lead. Tequila Blue is there. She's so fabulous, almost hidden from view in between horses as they're tightly bunched up, making their way on the back stretch. Buff Bay is on the rail. Atonement is racing out widest of them all as they charge away toward the final half mile. A very tight grouping on that lead. Bridal Blush and She's So Fabulous go at it. Tequila Blue and Atonement are right there. Catalina, not too far off those to land a blow. Just about three lengths separates that bunch of horses. A gap of one and a half lengths opens up to Buff Bay on the rail. Right alongside, it's Letters in Gold now asked to pick up as they leave the 5-16th. A break back to the good life, and then a Lovecraft. It is what it is, and Queen T at the back, but they're into the lane. She's so fabulous, widest of them all. Bridal blushes in the center, and Catalina running a big one in the blaze face down against the rail. Here now, asked to kick in on the outside in the yellow. That's Letters in Gold, but they come toward the furlong pole. They're there now, and Catalina has the lead and begins to open up. Letters in gold, finishing best of the rest. Catalina out in front with a 16th to run. Letters in gold now trying to cut into that lead, but Catalina has escaped them and will win the Orville Thompson Trophy. Letters in gold is next. It's close between Lovecraft and Great Brit, also close between She's So Fabulous and On The Rail, It Is What It Is. Letters in gold, 3 and 10, both go to the testing barn. Catalina, 170 to win, 136 to place. Second 10, letters in gold, 179. 